Let's find the point of intersection. We have two lines, 2y plus x equals 3, y minus 3x equals 1. So the first thing is we're going to try to graph this. Using algebra, we know that 2y equals negative x plus 3. This is equation 1. This is equation 2. We're going to divide both sides by 2. So y equals 1 half x plus 3 over 2. So graphing this first line, we're just going to estimate 3 over 2 is 1.5. This is 1. This is 2. So around here, a slope of negative a half is going downhill because downhill slopes are negative and approximately like that. So this one here, the second line, we'll do it in blue. We'll say that y using algebra moving negative 3x to the right becomes positive 3x plus 1. So we're going to have a intercept of positive 1. Recall that y equals mx plus b. This is the slope intercept form. So here the 1 is the y intercept and the slope here is 3, which is pretty steep. So we know that the this system here, these two lines will intersect around here. Now what we've done here is we've solved the system only using an approximation by graphing it. But now let's use some algebra to solve this exactly. So one way to find the exact values of x and y, which is the point of intersection, is to set both the y's to be separated and to be isolated. So let me show you what I mean here. So this is equation number one. I'm going to say 2y equals negative x because positive x when it goes over becomes a negative x plus 3. I'm going to divide both sides by 2 and we get y equals negative 1 half x plus 3 over 2 which is what we just did. So we have this equation 1 here. And as for equation 2, we're going to also solve for y. y is equals to 3x plus 1. So what we've done here is we found the y values. And remember that at the point of intersection, the y value of this line and the y value of this green line, they're equal. So we're interested in this red point here. And at this particular point, the y values are equal. So we want when they're equal. So we know that this is y, because there's an equal sign here, and this is also y. So we're interested in the x value, going this way, where the y values are equal. So we can legitimately set this equal to this, which means that when this equals this, the y values are equal. Think about that. So we're going to say negative 1 half x plus 3 over 2 is equal to this is equal to this. 3x plus 1. So we're setting the y values equal, and they happen to be equal at a particular x value. And we're going to use algebra to solve this exact x value. So when we have fractions, it's recommended that you multiply by 2. So I'm going to say multiply by 2, left side, right side of the equation. So we have negative x plus 3 equals 6x plus 2. We're going to move this negative x here, makes it positive x. 6x plus 1 becomes 7x. We're going to move the positive 2 here to the left. So 3 minus 2 becomes 1. So we have x is equals to 1 over 7. So we actually solved the exact x value. And the x value here happens to be 1 over 7, and you can always use your calculator. Now this is amazing because this is the exact value of x for this solution here. This here, the point of intersection, is also called solution. This is a solution of the system. So to solve the solution, we need the x value, which we have, and we also need the y value. So what we're saying here is that the x value here is 1 7th. 
at when x equals 1 7th, we're going to have a particular y value, and we can solve it. We can solve this y value by simply plugging in this x value into either equation, either equation 1 or 2. So we can plug it into this line or this line, and we'll have the correct y value. Because when x is equal to 1 7th for the blue line, the y value is here. When x is equal to 1 7th for the green line, it's here as well. They're the same, so it doesn't really matter which equation we use. We're going to use equation 2 just because it looks pretty simple. y minus 3x equals 1. We're going to take this 1 7th and we're going to plug it in right there. So y minus 3 times 1 7th equals 1. We multiply 3, 3 times 1. So y minus 3 over 7 is equals to 1. I'm going to move this over y is equals to 1 plus 3 over 7 because the minus 3 7 becomes a positive as I move it over and 1 I'm going to rewrite as 7 over 7 so the final value here is y is equals to 10 over 7 so what we've just done here is we found the exact coordinate for the y value as well as for the x value which is right over here so this here happens to be the x value of this point, the solution, and this here happens to be the y value. So we can say that the solution is going to be 1 7th, 10 over 7 exactly. In the next video, let's continue using algebra to solve this type of question.